Hello everyone, Tim again with Tim's Computer Repair. In this video, we're going to be discussing data recovery. There are many different ways that you can lose your data. And in this video, we're going to be discussing if you have accidentally deleted important data and emptied your recycle bin, or if you come across an error like this stating that your items are too big for the recycle bin, do you want to permanently delete them? And you click yes and realize that you have made a mistake. Those items are recoverable. There are many different tools to recover data. And in this instance, we are going to be using Mini Tool Partition Wizard Pro Platinum version 12.7. This is a paid version. Mini Tool is not sponsoring this video. They did not provide me with this software. I purchased this myself. We're going to be looking at how to recover data using this software. Now keep in mind, it is very important that if you empty your recycle bin or you have permanently deleted your data that's too big for the recycle bin, it is imperative that you stop using your computer, power it off as soon as you realize your data is lost. Power it off because we do not want to be overriding the data. It's still on your drive. We don't want to overwrite it. What you do want to do is remove that drive from your computer and mount it on another computer and use software similar to this to recover your data. And that's just what I've done right here. Showing up here is uh, local disk C and new volume D. Those are on my bench computer. Those are my bench computer drives. The Easy Share E drive is a blank USB drive to pull my data onto. The local disk F drive is the drive that the data needs to be extracted from. In this particular case, the customer accidentally permanently deleted critical files that she needed. These are media files, video files, and there are quite a lot of them. Too big for the recycle bin usually means over nine gigs. The customer shut her computer down immediately and brought it to me. Now we're going to run data recovery on our mini tool partition program. We see here that all of the drives show up in mini tool. And that's a good thing. We want to go ahead now. We're just going to go ahead and click the data recovery option here on the top left. Once the data recovery starts loading, the screen here shows you all of the logical drives that the software detects. You could also click devices tab there. It'll show you all four drives. What we want to do is select the proper drive that we want to extract the data from. And here we see the two drives we're looking for, the Easy Store and the 500 gig SSD. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the 500 gig SSD and click scan. Mini tool will now begin to scan the drive for all files. Now a full complete scan of a drive can take quite some time. You can see down here at the bottom left, the percentage and also calculating what or how much time it's going to take to complete the scan. But you can already see some things populating here on the left side here. One of them says deleted files. Very interesting. So you don't necessarily have to let the whole scan go through, especially when you already might see something that you might want to grab. And already you can see that Minitool has detected over 271,000 deleted files. Here's your time remaining. That's five hours and 13 minutes. Well, if you want to really recover some data that you're having trouble finding, you know, maybe letting that run would be your best bet. It does take some time. One thing I really like about mini tool data recovery, file structure, nice clean file structures to choose from. A lot of data recovery softwares just throw recovered data in one big massive pile, leaving you to have to sort through it. You can see here, we have our deleted items. So we're gonna go ahead and look in here and see what we can find. And oh yeah, audition videos. That is what we are looking for. See all these folders in here? These are all of the folders that she deleted, quite a lot of them. And inside each of these folders, look at how many there are. These were permanently deleted, too large for the recycle bin. So we go ahead and uh, just have a look inside one here and you'll be able to see that there are videos inside these folders. 
Let's go ahead and select this, right click it and click recover. And then it's going to give us, show us where we want to recover to. We're going to find that easy share drive in here. It's right there. We're going to go ahead and select our easy share drive. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. It says recovery completed. Nice. So let's check to see if that file or that video is there. We'll pull up our easy share here, open it up. And there it is. We've got that. So that works out well. So look, there are literally hundreds of these videos that we need to get. So doing it one at a time is not going to work. We want to go ahead and find a way now to select all of these and just download all of these folders in one go. All we have to do, we just click on this box next to file name and that'll select all of the folders that are under the audition videos location is which is what we want and then we can just go down and click save at the bottom right and we'll find our save point to be our easy share drive once again we'll select that click ok and now we are pulling down all of those folders that were selected now look at this that's going to be over almost 2500 files that it's pulling over. So that is quite a lot of data that it's recovering that this customer would have otherwise lost. So it's pretty impressive. We'll let this run and we'll check what the results are. There we go. Recovery completed. Let's have a look. Let's see if it pulled everything over. We'll pull up our easy share drive. And of course it's going to give it to us now in a file structure. But that's quite all right, because we can do anything we want with this file structure. It's under deleted files, users, videos, audition videos, and there they all are. All of the folders that she had permanently deleted have now been recovered. Remember everyone, the big key here was stop using the computer after you realize your data has been deleted. That's very important. Uh, mini tool data recovery will also work on damaged drives, failing drives uh, to a to a certain point. As long as a drive can mount, mini tool data recovery can help you retrieve your data, even from flash drives, SSDs, what have you. Let's take a closer look at some of the other features mini tool data recovery can help us with. We can narrow down our data recovery search by just the desktop, just recycling bin or you can select folders yourself. Load manually is where you can just load your last session so you don't have to rescan the drive. Let's go up here and go to these settings here. And you can see we have some options. You can see the different file systems that it scans for. FAT32, XFAT, NTFS, wow, HFS. So you can select or deselect those so you can kind of narrow things down a bit. And here's the extra search known file types. And here's one called other files. And look at this, HTML, XML. Look at that. Bookmarks, Vegas video program projects. Look at that. Nice. Let's go up here to databases. Look at that. Look at that. Access databases, SQL databases that can search for. You can select or deselect these as you like. Archives, zip files, seven zip files. Very nice. Cab files. Pretty extensive list. Emails. PST files for Outlook. If you are looking for just one file type to recover, this can really help narrow things down and save you a lot of time. Once you have a partition or drive loaded, you can also use a find feature. Just click find here up top. You can come down here to the bottom. You can match a word, just type in any word you like in there, and it will search for it. Makes life a lot easier, narrows things down. Up top here, you can search by file type, by date modified, by the file size, or even by the file category. So many different ways to make your data recovery easier. Here, you can also export your scan results, allowing you to save those results. 
So the next time you mount this particular drive, you don't have to rescan it. You can just load up these results and it'll be all ready for you to resume your data recovery. Anyways, this mini tool data recovery is quite a nice tool to use. I use it in my shop. It's done a very good job for all of my data recovery so far. It's not the only tool I use, but I figured I would uh, let you guys know and let you have a look at um, the tools that I use and this particular tool, mini tool. You should give it a try. It's a good little tool. Anyways, I am Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. I hope this video helps somebody out. See you soon, everyone.